Hey everybody, Emily here. It is week 20, can you believe it, of the big map out. And I'm here at Open Air Village. Our friends down the street, they are a nature-centered um, childcare facility that is just awesome. My friend Nicole and Brian Gay work here and uh, I got to visit them this morning and I'm gonna stick around to do our bird language lesson for the week. <gasps> week two of bird language. Um, okay, so we've got a couple games to play today. Game number one, we're gonna become invisible to the birds. Now, when you go outside for your time this week, I want you to stop at the door and peer out if you can because the birds are already gonna notice and hear. If you come like ah, making a lot of noise and like slamming the door going out to play, slowly come out your door and slowly close it quietly. And again, stop and look. Number two, I want you to breathe deeply as you walk. Smile that relaxes our inside and our, uh, our energy so that they feel comfortable with us. Don't try to look at them like this and start creeping towards them because you might feel like a predator, like a cat or a dog that's trying to eat them. So don't do that. Now, as you walk, do this. Just try fox walking quietly, outside, inside, heel, toe, shift your weight, lift your back foot, outside inside heel toe shift your weight and go 10 steps and stop and have owl eyes looking all around you for bird movement now if there's a bird in your path circle around it that means giving the bird your shoulder so that it doesn't feel as threatened like you're looking right at it that helps them feel more comfortable now, I'm gonna find a nice spot up against this beautiful sycamore. Now, part two of our game today is that we are gonna look for two different types of alarm shapes uh, that birds do that tell us specifically what kind of animal they are alarming about. Cats is number one and dogs number two. So for cats, birds do this. And this is for lions in Africa or cougars in the Yukon of Canada or house cats here in Yellow Springs. Okay. They make an umbrella alarm shape. Now, what does that mean? It means that the bird might be on the ground or like feeding in the mid layer. Remember we talked about that last week, the mid layer and the ground layer, and they will pop up a little bit higher and maybe start alarming down at the cat and then other birds hear that and they come close by and alarm down at the cat too because cats can climb trees they're really sneaky and they're really good bird hunters so those birds have to give each other a really good early warning system around the cats and they'll start tick 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 right straight down at the cat that's below okay so that's the umbrella shape alarm of a cat. If you start to notice that a bunch of birds are gathering up and kind of alarming down, like maybe into bushes and you can't see the cat, wait, wait like 30 seconds, a minute, maybe even two minutes. And that cat just might show itself to you. And you can impress friends by saying, oh, I think there's a cat in that bush. And sure enough, a cat pops out. They're like, oh, how could you tell that? Well, the birds told me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's with cats. Now, second bird alarm shape is for dogs, and we call this the popcorn alarm shape. So dogs, and this could be a dog that's being walked by an owner or a wild dog like a coyote, the birds that are on the ground will pop up and do a little hook sh alarm shape with their bodies, hop up to a, um, a higher, safer branch, and start alarming down at it. And, f and it'll turn its body to watch it like go. Um, if this is the dog, it goes and like the, the bird is like watching it. And then as soon as it feels safe, it'll go back down. So it's like popcorn, popping up, popping down. And the birds will start doing, like there'll be multiple birds popping up as the 
coyote or the fox or the dog with its walker um, goes through a space. So you might see just one bird even pop up and look back in a certain direction. Look in that direction too. Count to up to two minutes. And whatever comes down the path or the road is what it's alarming about. And notice, was it a dog? Was it a runner? Was it a human maybe? Because it does that, um, birds do this for humans too, the popcorn. And then notice how long does it take that bird to go back down to the ground to feed after it passes. So have fun being invisible, have fun finding a quiet spot to observe birds on the ground close by, see how close you, uh, they can get to you with keeping your energy still and quiet. Observe some, some cat alarms or dog alarms that the birds are doing towards those animals. If you don't see either of those, that's okay too. It Just keep going outside and sitting and trust me, you'll see it if you sit long enough. And sometimes that can be 20 to 30 minutes. But go outside with lots of gear to stay warm and have fun and uh, we'll now map what we saw. Hi everybody. Okay, let's map today. So today I don't have my map with me, but that's okay. I'm going to use this piece of paper here and you can do that too. So here I'm gonna use four different new symbols. An X to mark where I sat, an exclamation point to mark where I heard bird alarms or saw a bird alarm, the song notes, like a musical notes, uh, to mark the songs that I hear of the birds, and then these dotted lines labeled me for my travel. So here is my map and I labeled it my map today, 22621, the date. And I drew my house and my travel to my sit spot with the X. X marks the spot of where I was underneath two um, evergreen trees. And I heard bird songs down here, um, or actually up here, because it's up my driveway, uh, right by the house and back behind me. Now, I also heard three birds alarming very vigorously like tick 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 behind me and I could feel it in my spine like ooh something's happening behind me so I turned to look and the neighbor's cat was sitting on its front stoop looking very eager to go catch some birds that were at the bird feeder behind me. Mm -hmm. So those bird alarms told me that that cat was there. I wonder what you saw and what you are going to map on yours.